Hola mi gente, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Alba Mar, me pueden decir Alba, el canal se llama Seriela, estamos aquí para hablar de libros, algunos de ellos en español, desde Puerto Rico. Hello, my name is Alba Mar, you may call me Alba. Channel name is Seriela, we're here to talk about books and some of them in Spanish from Puerto Rico. Have not too much charge left on my phone, but I wanted to let you know what I finished this past uh, two weeks and what I have in uh, the works for this coming week. I would love to concentrate on uh, Women's History Month for the rest of the month, but we'll see what happens. I don't know if you've got to see uh, my video on Teresa Angledo Sepulveda. I will link that down below in which I speak about the first book that I read for Women's History Month here in Puerto Rico, uh, labor leader Teresa Angledo Sepulveda. And then over there with uh, Karen Evans um, group, the group that's supposed to read these truths. Yes, well, you know, we branch out every once in a while. And we were supposed to have finished, you know, have somewhat of a slow read of Bluebird, Bluebird, which is uh, for March Mystery Madness. It's a mystery, double murder. But somebody could not hold back. <laughs> it is a page turner, for real. Uh, you can tell that Attica Locke, the author, is a screenwriter because she does, you can see the whole thing in, in your head. And I can't wait for this to come out uh, in a film adaptation because as I was reading, and I couldn't put it down, yeah, I, uh, our other group member was not the only one who could not put this down. Uh, yeah, this was a wonderful story about a black Texas Ranger and uh, all the themes that that, you know, uh, can bring up. Who's investigating uh, the murder. Well, he's not assigned to it, but he's investigating a double murder of a Chicago man uh, who is visiting Texas and a white woman. Yeah, it was fantastic read. I highly recommend this book. I loved it. And <laughs> we're already starting on book two of the series. Yeah, because we're going to continue with uh, the Texas Ranger this month. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Yeah, wish me luck, because uh, another book that I read was uh, finished, P.D. Thomas's Down These Mean Streets. And no, I was disappointed because uh, if you heard my previous video about, about this book, I only continued with this book because I wanted to see how P.D. Thomas um, dealt with being a black Puerto Rican in uh, Spanish Harlem in the 50s and 60s. Uh, resembled a lot the autobiography of Malcolm X, except that P.D. Thomas, of course, did not become an activist that I know of. He became a poet, and there's a YouTube documentary film uh, product filmed by, in part, Gordon Parks. And I saw it, and I also don't recommend it. No. Uh, yeah, I was thoroughly disappointed with this. This, is, this did not age well at all. No. And um, nothing against P.D. Thomas, right? But the most can I, that I can say about this book is that it is definitely dated. But then, yes, I finished, for me, five-star read, Mayra Santos Febres, the novel, Cualquier Me Miércoles Soy Tuya. Uh, this is about an aspiring writer who has been laid off from his job as a copywriter in one of the newspapers in Puerto Rico in around uh, the beginning of of 
this millennia, 2000. Uh, but we're already in 2021. So this is like around 20 years ago, but the same problems. The flavor of this book. Uh, I'm living on the south side of, of Puerto Rico right now, but it took me back to my years of living in uh, the metropolitan area or visiting the metropolitan area of San Juan. Uh, so many themes that she touches about he here. And her writing was magnificent. Uh, very few uh, novels in which I, I want to write down quotes. And this is one of them. Now, when I went to Goodreads, to after I finished reading it, because she touches on some very, very controversial themes here in Puerto Rico. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the storylines, one of the plot lines has to do with um, a big drug trafficker uh, who meets at this hotel where Julian, who is the male protagonist in this uh, novel, finds a job in a motel, right, after he's been laid off. And uh, the book deals with the people who come and go from the motel. And one of them is a, uh, a big head of a, of a drug trafficking ring who meets with a high-level labor syndicate lawyer, the lawyer for a labor union. A labor union, <laughs> she doesn't come out and say which labor union it is, but you can tell because it's the labor union, one of the labor unions uh, that represents uh, the power grid here in Puerto Rico. <laughs> and she must have touched a nerve because I went to Goodreads and there are a lot of people who just gave it two stars. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this is not a two star book. This is definitely for me a four or a five star book. Uh, she touched on so many themes that have to do with present day, real Puerto Rico. Uh, yeah, just fantastic. I'm going to link a recent chat conversation that she had out of the University of Scranton, I think it is, about uh, being black in the Caribbean. And it's in English. So there's no problem for those who are interested in uh, seeing uh, and hearing Mayra Santos Febres in action. I highly recommend this book uh, to anybody who speaks Spanish, who can read in Spanish. But let me tell you, it is a book with, with, which resonates with me as a Puerto Rican. Wonderful read. I'm so glad I read it. So glad. So, what am I currently reading? I'm currently reading for March Mystery Madness and March of the Mammoths Todo, Todo Velascorang by Paco Ignacio Taibo, which is about um, an engineer with General Electric who becomes obsessed with a series of murders and he is convinced that they are. Uh, murders by a serial killer and uh, but it's very slow going at the beginning uh, very slow going I think we'll have to start all over again after reading all those other books yeah but I'm interested and it's very um, atmospheric <laughs> he takes us around uh, uh, Ciudad Mexico El Distrito Federal the capital of, of Mexico and uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, uh, but it, for, right now it's not plot driven. It's more of a character study of Velasquarang and his obsession with these murders. Okay, before my phone goes off, uh, what do I want to read? I want to uh, start reading Daughters of the Stone, which is the selection for Dee Dee's um, at Brown Girl Readings Read So Lit this month. Uh, Daughters of the Stone, which is written by Dalma Janos Figueroa, who is of uh, Puerto Rican extraction. So I'm looking forward to that. 
Also, I'm going to uh, link here, show um, the book that we're reading for the Octavia Butler slow read over there with uh, Ann Jerry, and I will leave that link down below. Also, I have that one on script. I'm going to start a buddy read with Terry of How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents by Julia Alvarez. I've had this for decades. <laughs> I haven't gotten to it yet, but uh, Terry and I have already scheduled our, uh, our check-ins for How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents by Julia Alvarez. It's a novel. That music is a funeral, and I'll be done in a little while, and I really want to get to Red Rosa about uh, Rosa Luxemburg. Take care, everybody. Take good care of yourselves. Keep on reading. Los quiero mucho, mi gente. Escuchen el entierro. Adiós. <laughs>